Want to see more cool videos on our channel? We do, so press this bell and enable to send notifications. Sometimes you want to get away from it all, but how far away from everything do you really want to be? How about sky high in the Peruvian Andes, three miles above sea level? Or perhaps on a tiny island in the middle of an ocean, thousands of miles away from its nearest neighbor? The locales on this list are about as far away as you can be from anything else, and getting there is often no easy task, involving long flights, day-long drives, week-long boat rides, and in one instance, an eight-mile mule ride. If you like extremes, try these on for size. They're the most remote islands, towns, and settlements on Earth. Number 10. McMurdo Station, Antarctica Located quite literally at the bottom of the world, Antarctica is naturally one of the most remote places on Earth. Though there are no permanent residents in the frozen region, the continent does house seasonal researchers and scientists. The McMurdo Station, located on the northern tip of Antarctica, is the most populated research center, with close to 1,200 scientists working in the area. However, the population drops to 250 during winter due to extreme climate. The station consists of more than 85 buildings, including harbor, helipad, stores, clubs, power plants, warehouses, and two ATMs. Going there for fun is almost impossible. You need to be a scientist, a military person, or an artist. This place is one of the hardest places to get to in the world. The pilots need to be capable of landing the aircraft on ice as there are no paved runways. Number 9. Sphinx Observatory at Swiss Alps Icy air streams across your face, snow crunches under your feet, and the view nearly takes your breath away. On one side, the view of the Middleland up to the Vosges. On the other, the Aletsch Glacier, bordered by 4,000-meter peaks. Standing on the Jungfraujoch, 3,454 meters above sea level, you can feel it with your first step. This is a different world. It's one you have to experience. Sphinx Observatory practically touches the sky. That makes it perfect for studying the stars, but ridiculously hard to get in and out of. Add to that the nearly constant presence of shifting snow and just arriving there is a struggle. The Sphinx Observatory, completed in 1937, is a result of this influx of research. Perched on a shockingly steep precipice at the so-called top of Europe, the observatory is the highest altitude construction in the entire continent. With multiple laboratories, a weather observation station, astronomical and meteorological domes, and a 76-centimeter telescope, the Sphinx has served as a headquarters for researchers in fields such as glaciology, medicine, cosmic ray physics, and astronomy. Over the years, the building has adapted to meet scientists' needs. Today, the observatory is fully outfitted with electricity, water, telephone, internet, and even a machine to produce liquid air. In addition to the science, the observatory also provides visitors with vertigo-inducing panoramic views of the snowy Alps, green valleys, and the great Aletsch Glacier. From the metal grating terrace that surrounds the building, one can see over 11,000 feet below, with views stretching as far as Germany and Italy. Number 8. Chongtang, Tibet They don't call it the roof of the world for nothing. Shangtang is a giant high-altitude plateau located in the west of the Tibetan Plateau, which is itself more than 2.5 miles above sea level. So basically, Chongtang, which has elevations as high as 4 miles above sea level, is the highest part of something that's already really, really tall. Chongtang is part of the Tibetan Plateau that extends from western and northern Tibet to Ladakh in India. It is spread over 990 miles and is home to Changpa, a nomadic tribe in Tibet. Chongtang is home to nearly half a million nomads, but they are often difficult to find. A Swedish explorer, Sven Herden, reported not seeing even a single person in 81 days while crossing Chongtang. There's the nearest airport in Lei, though, through which you can access Chongtang, but it requires a permit to enter. Number 7. Kyrgyzlan Islands The Kyrgyzlan Islands, also known as the Desolation Islands, are among the most isolated places on Earth, hence their name and are located 2,051 miles away from any sort of civilization. There are no native inhabitants of the island, but as part of the French Southern and Antarctic lands, it is permanently occupied by 50 to 100 French scientists, engineers, and researchers at any given time of the year. 
massive, active glaciers over the main island, which stretches nearly 100 miles long and reaches 6,445 feet at its highest peak. The islands are so very remote that even if there were an airport, the harsh, freezing climate and icy terrain make it an undesirable location for visitors. The only way to and from the island is by ship. But if you plan to take what would basically be the worst vacation ever as a cabin rental, is $17,000, and the ship only visits the island four times a year. Number 6. Longyearbyen, Norway The world's northernmost settlement, with more than 1,000 permanent residents, is also the largest settlement in Svalbard, Norway. The few thousand people who call Longyearbyen home must abide by some unusual rules. First, it's illegal to be buried here, because according to Atlas Obscura, the permafrost and sub-zero temperatures make it so that any dead bodies lying six feet under are perfectly preserved, as if mummified. Therefore, the government of Svalbard requires that any dead bodies must be flown by plane or shipped by boat to mainland Norway for burial. This law has been in effect since 1950. Second, it's illegal to be homeless. All residents must have a street address, the New York Times reports. Thirdly, anybody venturing outside the city limits of Longyearbyen must carry a weapon and know how to use it. This isn't because residents are afraid of crime. The six local police officers only investigated nine violent crimes in all of 2013. Instead, it's to fend off polar bears, which present a real danger, the Times reports. Two more unique rules follow. All houses have to be built on stilts, so when the island's layer of permafrost melts in the summer, the houses don't sink and slide away and cats are banned in order to protect endangered Arctic birds. Number 5. Motuo, Tibet Motuo, isolated in eastern Tibet, is the only country with no highway link to the outside world among all of China's 2,100 counties. This particular area not only boasts a unique environment experience, but it's also considered a sacred paradise by the people who lived and traveled there. Enchanted doesn't begin to describe the magic of Motuo covering an area of 12,000 square miles. The mysterious Mantua County is mainly inhabited by the Menba and Luba ethnic groups, with a population of about 10,000 people. There are no roads leading in and out, not for lack of trying. The terrain is simply too volatile. Any progress gets cut short by one of the many floods or avalanches that plague the area. It's as if nature itself is preserving the sanctity of this secluded haven. All travel to and from has to be done on foot, and it takes a four-day hike through the dense jungle to reach what's been considered one of the most remote populations on Earth. Number 4. Esso Hotel, Cerro Paranal This remote place has some very extreme weather conditions and fierce winds because of its location. But like over in the Kerguelen Islands, the reason people stick it out comes down to one simple thing. Science. For this establishment, situated on Cerro Paranal, a mountain in the Atacama Desert of the Chilean Andes, the word hotel is something of a misnomer, as it is closed to the general public. At over 2,000 feet above sea level, the harsh winds, baking sun, unpredictable weather, and the high solar radiation threaten scientists' health. Only the most determined of people with something big to do dare to tackle this place such as to use the very large telescope, which belongs to the European Southern Observatory and is the most powerful Earth-based telescope, which requires an army of engineers to operate it. Hence the need for the specifically designed and built hotel. Despite the extreme weather conditions and winds, there are also frequent earthquakes with a magnitude of up to 8.5 on the Richter scale. Number 3. Halley 6 Research Station the Halley 6 Research Station is one of the most challengingly and technically complex buildings ever built to exist in the harshest climate on Earth. It is the world's first fully relocatable, permanently manned Antarctic research station that redefines polar architecture in engineering. The Halley 6 Research Area is the southernmost Antarctic station operated by the British Antarctic Survey and is located on the 492 feet thick Brunt Ice Shelf which flows out to sea at an annual rate of 1,312 feet. Snow levels on the ice shelf rise by around 3.5 feet each year, with temperatures dropping to negative 69 degrees Fahrenheit. The research station was built centered around survivability, maintainability, and a livability, allowing the station to function reliably and economically as a home for dozens of scientists who live there for up to 18 months at a time. Number 2. Pitcairn Islands 
The Pitcairn Islands, a group of four volcanic islands in the southern Pacific Ocean, are part of the British Overseas Territory in the Pacific. Only one, Pitcairn Island, is inhabited. Only 50 people live on the two-square-mile landmass, and most of the residents descend from folks with a somewhat shady reputation. The people of Pitcairn are descended from the mutineers of HMAV, Her Majesty's Armed Vessel Bounty, and their Tahitian companions, according to the government website. The population has declined in recent years after the island was hit by a child sexual abuse controversy in 2004, when six men were imprisoned for sexual offenses, including the mayor, the Telegraph reports. The government previously tried to give land away to anyone who would move there, but only one person applied. Number 1. Svalbard Global If you ever have any doubts that the people of our planet could work together to help keep each other alive, then all you have to do would be to look at the Svalbard Seed Bank. Located inside a snowy mountain on one island of an archipelago that sits between Norway and the North Pole, Svalbard is the world's largest global seed storage shed. It also happens to be the most isolated place on Earth. This building was designed to last. It can withstand temperature shifts, disease, and even natural disasters. With many species of plants, especially crops, disappearing by the day, having a place where people can preserve examples of different plants with their own unique genomes could very well one day be the grace that saves our population from starvation. Of course, if there is a worldwide catastrophe, chances are nobody's going to be able to reach the place to get the seeds out anyway. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoy the video, please let me know by clicking the like button. Do share, write a comment, and don't forget to subscribe so that you can catch up my next video.